Hey, today we're hanging out with Sarah at the Baymont Hotel here in Sturgis. So you're the manager of this bar. It's 44 North Whiskey and Seltzer Bar. It's a really cool place here, and I didn't know it, it existed. So tell us a little bit about this hotel in general and the bar. There's actually a lot of people say that they didn't know that we existed. We're kind of tucked away back here. The bar's been open since yeah, November 2020, and this actually used to be the pool area, and the owners of the property decided that they wanted to do something a little different, and so they converted it into a bar. Um, I'm very passionate about the atmosphere and making sure it's a good feel when you walk in. People can just come and relax and kind of kick back. Yeah, it's definitely like a speakeasy style. Um, we do a lot of whiskey cocktails and like um, I have a specific pre-prohibition cocktail menu that's really fun has some history on those drinks so we do all different kinds of drinks we're not just whiskey we also have the vodka seltzers and all different kinds of liquor and we do have a, like a small menu it's kind of elevated bar food we do some um, hand tossed flatbreads and stuff like that so now is this open to the public oh absolutely yeah we love our local following okay. and I see you also have a patio out here yeah, we do. It's a it's a small patio and it's comfortable and people can go out there and smoke our cigars. We also have cigars. I know Lonnie, the owner, Lonnie Strong, kind of wanted to do something a little different. We're the only cocktail bar, at least in the Sturgis area. He's very passionate about good whiskey. And now you mentioned that your old fashioned is where it's at. Yeah, so I actually put our signature old fashioned on our cocktail list. It's made with chocolate and orange bitters and a Luxardo cherry, so Four Roses bourbon, but yes, most a lot of people come here for old fashions. It's kind of the most common drink that we make. We do have a small casino um, right through this door over here, and it's there's like eight video lottery machines, so that draws some people in. I've definitely been focusing on drawing in local business and making sure that you know we get to know the locals and have what they want. But yeah, we definitely have a lot of tourists too. Being in the hotel, we get people from all over the country, all over the world, really. It's a very cool atmosphere for that. We do live music every Friday and Saturday evening. We have live musicians that come in, like local musicians. Lots of people do covers, but we really appreciate original music, leaning more towards like blues, jazz, soul, that kind of vibe. It's very mellow, It's um, and we always make sure it's at a good level of volume so people can still have conversation. Um, we definitely have something for everybody. It's um, Even though we're a whiskey seltzer bar, um, we have wine, we have all kinds of things, and you can always try something new here. That's the fun part. It's definitely a passion of mine to have people try something new. We open at 3 every day. We usually close a little bit earlier due to being in the hotel between 10 and midnight, depending on the season. How about, is there like a story behind like the 44 north? So it's actually 44 degrees north, and that's the, the latitude of Sturgis, South Dakota. There's different events that are really fun, whether it's a whiskey tasting or like a mixology class or different things like that where we can, you know, share knowledge with people, share new product. Yeah, that's the creative aspect is definitely the most fun for me. Okay, well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.